I'm Jack, and this is episode four of Turning On To Harbor. So today is November 25th. We are going to see Moana, and it is the day after Thanksgiving. There's Xander, and Maya, and Sissa. It's gonna be a grand, jolly old time. <laughs> Let's go! Don't say that. <laughs> Thoughts before we get in. What are what are we thinking about? I'm excited to hear what the Manuel Miranda is going on. Yeah. I'm so just excited be to cool. see Baby Moana. Excited to see <laughs> Baby Moana. Excited for the short film. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, a short film before. Do we know what it's about? No. But what about you, Xander? What are you excited to see? Uh, I'm hoping there's no paper in the movie. Paper. No paper. Paper beats rock. Don't have that happen. <laughs> 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 oh. That was pretty good. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're funny. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're done Where's now. Jeremy? No first impressions yet, but we're trying to find Jerry in the credits. So that we can leave. So that we, <laughs> no, because we have to stay for there's an end credit scene, so we need to make sure that we stay. I found a Jeremy. All right, I'll take it. Jerry. So we just got out of the movie about a half hour ago, and now we want to tell you a little bit about what we think. So overall, what did you guys think of Moana? Overall, exceeded my expectations. Yeah, didn't have a lot of expectations. It was really good. Yeah, really, really good. It's hard to go into Disney movies with expectations these days because they're all so top notch. But I did kind of go into this thinking this is going to be awesome. And it lived up to my expectation. So, how did you guys think that the voices fit the characters? Aului for Moana and obviously Dwayne The Rock Johnson for Maui. Um, as soon as Dwayne Johnson started speaking, you could obviously tell that that was him. Which is cool. He does cool. He's a great voice actor. It's not really like they were playing characters that they weren't. Was, exactly. Like yeah. they was. You could see them in real life and at in them in their character. Yeah, I completely agree. And you were talking about her singing voice. Let's go a little bit to the music of the film. And so Mark McKenna did the soundtrack for this movie, but it wasn't just the background music. There was a lot of singing and prominent voices. And we got to hear Dwayne The Rock Johnson singing a little bit, which that is was a joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. And uh, the fact that most of these songs were written by Lin-Manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame. What did you guys think about the music that accompanied the movie? Do you think it's frozen? Do you think it's more along the lines of just kind of there to help out the story. What did you guys think? Mm. Uh, well, I don't think it was Frozen, because let nothing's gonna top Let It Go. Like that song is iconic now, I guess. Yeah. Like all the little kids are singing Let It Go. It, can, it stays in your head. You don't think how far I'll go? We'll get to the point where it is the let it go of 2016. I mean, I want it to. It's a good song. I like song, it, but I don't. I really don't think so. It just doesn't have the same feel, I guess. I felt that the music absolutely was very prominent and really played a big part in keeping the whole story together and created a very strong background for the story for sure we were talking a bit in the car about some comparisons that we made for instance between the relationship with nick and judy from zootopia and the relationship with maui and moana in this movie nick and and maui being very oh i'm gonna handle this by myself you can't do it and then the, i don't need help Right, and then the strong female lead coming in yeah. and saying, "Nah, dude, I can, I can, I can do this with you." The villain 
for sure was not the person who we thought it was going to be. Yes, that was. Which has happened well, I mean, successfully in the last three Walt Disney Animation movies with the Duke of Whistleton and then it turning out to be Hans. Sorry, spoiler alerts for you people who haven't it made it on the animation train. Get with it, people. And also with Zootopia, the assistant, right? Yeah, the lamb. The lamb instead of the lion. And then with this one, we're not gonna give it away because you guys need to go see it first, obviously, but there are definitely a lot of comparisons to draw. The same storyline and the same themes are kind of very prominent throughout every single one of these Walt Disney Animation movies, which is why maybe Moana is not the greatest of them all because it's still kind of following that pattern. I would love to see a new new idea with some new themes thrown into it. Yeah, there was yeah. one part I turned to Jack and I said, I oh, man, I bet you this is gonna happen and I really hope I'm wrong. And that exact thing happened. I mean, it was still very, very, very good the way they played it through. Mm -hmm. I agree and I feel like the storylines are the same but it has a different feel. Like each movie obviously has a different like setting and characters and stuff. Also, kind of a comparison would be a, I guess we would call it an Easter egg that we found with the short film before Inside Out called Lava with the, with the islands that might have been a little bit of foreshadowing for what was to come. But we also found something in Moana that looked a little bit like something in Lava. So you absolutely need to go see it, but we are warning you now so that you can be on the lookout for it and then tweet at us at harbor pod if you find it and absolutely let us know but as we're talking about short films let's go on to the short film that played before moana what did you guys think of, of inner workings which was kind of inside out ish but had no script or talking behind it. I think that's one of my favorite things, one of the biggest things. It's kind of like how a picture can- A picture says a million words. A picture says a million words. This film had no words, but it just the music kind of speaks for it, and the animation just really speaks for it, and you kind of just like make the story up. And so the idea of doing what you want, doing what makes you happy, and loving what's going on was very prominent throughout the Difference entire part. Difference between what your mind tells you and what your heart tells you. Yeah, like follow your heart. So I liked the little message at the end. It was really cute. So with that, we are going to give you our rankings in a fun way that my friends Andy and Matthew came up with very long ago. So we're gonna rank them by churros. Out of five churros, how many, how many, how many churros would you give this movie? I'd give like 4.5 churros. And why 4.5? <laughs> it was so good. Um, I'm really easy going on movies. I think any movie that I watch is like the best movie ever <laughs> that I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. So then why not give it a five? What makes you what makes you stray away from the Okay, five? if it was a five, it's the type of movie that I will go back right now and I will watch it again. Like Frozen. Not saying that Frozen is a million times better than I would give it a five out of five, but I can watch Frozen over and over and over. Really? Because at this point I'm kinda tired of Frozen. Like I couldn't watch Frozen again. And, I mean, it's just like different opinions, but also like, I would probably give it four out of five. And why is that? Because, I don't know, just the predictable plot, and I liked it a lot. It was really heartfelt, and the story was good, but just like the predictable ending, and the... The relationship between Maui and Moana was really strong, but I feel like there, it was really similar to movies before. I'm with Maya. I'm gonna give it four churros because of the reoccurring themes that continue and I would love to see a little bit of original theming and some new ideas when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I'm also gonna give it a fast pass, meaning you need to go see it. It's a very, very good movie, very well animated, 
very well voiced, very well musically soundtrack. Sorry, sorry. Fast Pass, four out of five churros, four and a half out of five. <laughs> and that was what we thought of Moana. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go down and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you thought of Moana in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We might continue to do it if we get some positive feedback. But with that, I'm Jack. I'm Maya. I'm Sissa. And this has been episode four of Turning On to Harbor. See you guys. Bye! See ya!